In this video, we are going to set up the database and we are going to create the PHP script needed for established connection to the database. So here we use a WAM server. So first I have to start WAM server. So here the green icon indicates that now the server is ready. Now open your browser. On the address bar, type localhost. Okay, this is the home page of the localhost. Now go to PHP MyAdmin. So first here I am going to create a new user to the MySQL database. So select users. So now here I am going to add a new user to the database with some password. So add a new user. You have to specify a username. I name it as Prabish. Now you have to specify the host. Here I use a local host. Now you have to specify a password for the database. And here I name it as Prabish123. Now you need to retype the password. Now you need to grant some privileges. Now click go. Okay, now the user is added. Here is the user. Now we are going to create a new database. So select the new database option and you have to specify a database name. Here the database name is user db and create it. Okay, now the database is created. Now add a table to the database and specify the table name as user info and specify number of columns. Here we need three columns and create the table. Now you need to specify the column names. First column is name and specify the data type. Here the data type is Varkia. Now specify length. I put 75 as length. Now specify the second column name, email. Now specify the data type. Now specify length. And the last column name is password. Specify the data type. Specify length for it. Okay, now click save. Okay, now the table is created. You can view the, view the structure of the table. Three columns, name, email and password. Okay, now we set up the database. Now we can create the PHP script for established connection to the database. So now go to the installation folder of WAM server. Go to C drive. Go to the installation folder. Here it is. Now go to the public directory of the server. Now here I am going to create a new folder in it. Create a new folder with folder name login app. Login app. Okay. So we are going to place the PHP script in this folder. Now open any text editor for the P for writing PHP script. You can use any text editor. Here I am going to use Notepad++. So first here I am going to save the file. So first we have to change the language into PHP. So select language option and change that one into PHP. Now I am going to save this file save us. Now save it inside the public directory of WAMP server. So go to the WAMP server installation folder. Open the WAMP server installation folder. Here it is and here is the newly created folder. Select that folder and save it with file name in it .php. So by default this is a PHP file. So click save. Now we can start the PHP scripting. So start PHP script php now close that script so first we need to declare some variables first one is host you have to specify value for it here the host is local host now specify the username so create a variable called the user and specify the username here the username is Prabish. 
Now specify the password for database. So password and here our password is Prabish123. Prabish123. Now you have to specify a variable for database. So create another variable db name. And here the database name is user db. Okay. Now we need to create another variable. So here I am going to declare another variable called the con. Now call the PHP function called the mysqli connect. Mysqli connect. And you have to pass some arguments. First one is host name. Here the host name is available on this variable called the host. Now specify the database username. Now specify MySQL password. And here the variable is password. And finally specify the database name. Okay. So now we have to check whether the connection is success or not. So we have to start some loop. So here I use an if loop. So if not variable con. In that case, the connection is a failure. So we have to call the die function die and print the error message. Error in database, error in database connection. Okay, to print the error message, we have to call another PHP function called the MySQLI connect error, connect error. This will print the error, otherwise else connection success. So we have to print the message, echo, put some HTML tag, h3, database connection success, database connection success. Okay, this is the PHP script for established connection to the database. So save the file, now we can check the PHP script. So open your browser, go to the project folder on WAMP server, so type localhost slash localhost slash, our folder name is login app, in that folder the PHP script name is init.php and hit enter. So now it shows database connection success.